Hello, hello, Leo. I hope that you're doing great, feeling blessed and highly favored, my lovely. All right, so we're going to be doing your general reading here for the month of April, right off the bat, starting off bomb. All right, so please do have in mind, it's not a personal reading. Take whatever resonates, whatever doesn't apply, please let it fly. All right, this reading is for Leo rising, Leo moon, Leo sun. All right, so let's see. Let's see what is your theme. You have success and you have mind. Okay, so what do you think? This is a very good energy. All right, so a lot of the readings have been, not all, but a lot have been showing a lot of mental health being um, something that comes to be a practice and an acknowledgement of it. I mean, yours is showing here for you, but you've been doing some like a lot of transformation. You have the master and you have letting go. For some of you that do know how I read, uh, we know that at the bottom of the deck, it is that energy of what is coming towards you, things that we do not yet see, feel. Um, it is the under the veil. So it's yet energy to still show up for us. But this is telling us here that you're taking acknowledgement of what needs to come into order. All right, so let's see what's here in the energy for you. All right, let's start with three cards, three being the energy and clarify which state you will pull the ones that are here Ooh, all right we have justice the lovers nine of pentacles interesting okay so people are going to be watching you so this is just telling me here be careful with what you say okay um <laughs> you're not going to give it rat's ass Okay, you have the two of swords, the king of swords. It's like, you know what? I'm being fair. I'm being um, more than honest with myself and taking other people in consideration, especially since you have the king of swords and the lovers. It's like whatever you do, you're trying to speak uh, into love or do things because of love. And because of that, you will be recognized here. The universe will pour its abundance to you. But let's see what else comes into the energy here. What's the energy that you have to acknowledge here for the month of, of April? We have King of Cups, Eight of Swords, and Five of Cups. okay so leo there are other things some things that haven't taken off here for you you some of you may had been laid off finances weren't really kicking in you were worried about you know how you were going to how you were going to um, you know get your family fed i mean it's just so many scenarios but there was money trouble for a while and with the energy that is coming in here we have success i need you to acknowledge we have success we have the strength and we have strength again so what is that telling us this is telling us that you're going to step into your energy you're going to be stepping into things that you needed to do that you've been waiting for and when I say need it to do, is take that acknowledgement that you've done it. You're there. You are that. You know? Um, it's beautiful here. But any plans that had not come into fruition will start taking place. They will be making the moves to get there you will be making the effort to getting them started for some of you that had not started for some of you you're going to be reaping that and this is the energy that is telling me here you're going to be very successful with any initiations that you're starting you're going or you want to start off please take acknowledgement you have the energy of justice and the lovers this is owed owed to you Okay, you've learned from your mistakes. 
you develop new habits, you're allowing yourself to see things very differently. And I do like this energy of the eight of swords. You have it in your mind about a lot of things. For some of you, yes, you're going to start taking classes, courses. Um, it depends, whatever, you know, it's in your heart to learn. But some of you are going to start going to school, doing different things here. With a king of cups, you have that quantum understanding that intuitive understanding here, that it is time for you to go for it with whatever is here. And you are embracing the change. The five of cups, I mean, Leo, I know, I know, I know that they say that Leo is one of the most egotistical signs. I don't see it that way. That recognition had to come in. And sometimes when we also show some sort of recognition of ourselves or we're too much of ourselves, it's because we hadn't been taken care of. We hadn't been acknowledged like that. And that is also a coping mechanism, a wall here to defend ourselves, to defend our honor, you know, just to protect our energy. But here you're not allowing old habits, old way of thinking, take the best of you here. With the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to be reaping. You've done so much work here. Any sort of initiation that you want to start off now, it's all going to be very successful. But the thing here, it's your mind. And the feeling that you might leave other people behind as well, especially with the Five of Cups. I want to see what that energy is about. What is this five of cups? What is the sadness energy? Quiring over spilled milk. That um, energy of maybe things not working out in the past and they come in here. You have learning and training. Okay. And you look at this. Well, you'd be surprised. We have here leaving the past behind. Uh, acknowledgement, please. Can I see what is in the mind? What is the message here for the mind? What does Leo need to acknowledge? You have lost issues again. Patience and progress, okay. So this is the restart. This is the new beginning here. Your initiation, whatever you've been wanting to get across, get aboard with, it is, this is your time, okay? Achievement and success, bottom of the deck, cannot be any more beautiful. All right, let's get you a guidance message. I mean, we don't really need it. We always need it. But, Leo, don't let anything hold you back. Okay, look how beautiful it is here. We have, whoo, see, you holding yourself back because of others, you have goddess is chart coming in. Perfect. Um, I do have to say with wh whomever and whatever is telling you here, even that could be yourself, your mind, okay, you're leaving others behind, it's easy, does it when it's like making moves, no, okay, you're, Time is now. You're letting go of connections that no longer serve you. You're letting go of old things. Have in mind that can be many things for several of you, all of you. Okay. But divine order, divine justice is at your door here. Okay. That intuition will guide you here. And it is heart and mind matter will come into play this month of April. Uh, your goddess here, we have goddess Unag, and we have easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Perfect. Okay. Uh, bottom of the deck, we're going to give this to you also. We have goddess Ishtar, which is boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others that demand demands of your time and energy. Leo, please acknowledge that... You saying no is a complete sentence, okay? All right, my love, until we see each other again, okay? Please take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Namaste.